We have tourists coming in now. Uh, at this point in time, we have uh, two of our friends from our partnering country, the United Kingdom. So let's say hello to them. Hi, uh, how are you guys and when did you come here? How are you feeling right now? That's my first question. Feeling great, to be honest. Really happy to be here. Uh, we got here just today, so we've just been wandering around exploring the site, and we're really excited for the festival to start tomorrow. All right, uh, and may I know your name, please? Uh, my name's Craig. And I'm Cathy. Cathy, so how is your experience? Uh, uh, what did you feel the first time you stepped uh, your feet inside this very uh, Kisama village? It's really beautiful, and the mountains, it's such a lovely background. Where we're from is very flat, so it's really nice to see some other landscapes. That's wonderful to hear that you guys have a wonderful first impression. Now, uh, this is the 25th Silver Jubilee edition of this Hornbill Festival, and United Kingdom is uh, the partner, one of the partnering countries. So uh, what are you looking for, especially in this uh, edition? What are you looking forward to? I think the main thing we're looking forward to is just like learning about all of the different tribes and all the different districts around Nagaland and getting a chance to experience the food and the drinks and the culture and the dance and the performances. There's just so much to look forward to here. I think it's just excited for the lot, to be honest. Kathy, have you tried the Naga food yet? Yeah, we had some for lunch today. It was really good. We really enjoyed it. Do you remember what you had for lunch? Uh, we had a Naga tali and it had pork and rice and lots of different vegetables. It was really enjoyable. So uh, you guys... Uh have tried the naga food now you had pork you had the tali and you guys are you know um enjoying having a good time having a blast if i may say that so now uh, for the next uh, let's say tomorrow is the starting of the event it's going to be inaugurated i'm sorry for that sound there are gunshots going on in the background but this adds uh, to the energy you know of this very festival now all the tribes are coming together and not only from nagaland but from other you know from uh, different countries so um now uh, the united kingdom is partnering with uh, Nagaland this time. So now what kind of special message would you like to give to the people back in the UK, those who did not make it here this time? I think you're really missing out and it would do you a really good one to come down here and check this out. It's such a beautiful place and there's so much to see and experience. It's, it's, if you're not making it this time, definitely make sure you come next year, 100%. Kathy, what would you like to say to your friends and families back there in the UK? Um, yeah, I'd really like to encourage everybody to come. I think um, the Northeast gets overlooked by a lot of people. They come to India and they see like Delhi, Agra, Rajasthan, but loads of people miss this area and I think that's a big mistake. I think everybody should come here. So we wish the both of you to have a blast, you know, have the best time of your lives. And in fact, many more because Nordis, uh, this Hornbill Festival will not just be this. This is not the end. There will be so much more exciting additions. So we would uh, like you to come forward. You come again next year and next time perhaps bring your friends, friends and families. And, you know, we'll collaborate more in the future. Thank you very much for speaking to Nordis Life. I have two more uh, international tourists here with us. They are from Russia. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for coming to Nagaland. Is this your first time? Yeah, it's my first time. How about you? Also. Okay. So now tell me, when you uh, saw Nagaland, when you saw this place for the first time, what was your experience? Oh, I like Nagaland at all, uh, very much. It's a uh, very beautiful place. And we just came here, so no experience because we are looking around, don't understand what is it, what is it. But it looks very interesting. And actually we came for conference, for conference for three days here. And conference now is finished and we came here. I, I want to thank you for making the time to come here. Uh, how about you? How was your uh, first experience when you saw Nagaland? Well, it's a very beautiful uh, place, uh, and uh, well, I traveled a lot uh, uh, all through India, and uh, Nagaland is uh, uh, very special. Now, uh, have you experienced the Naga food? Have you tried the Naga food? It's very spicy for me, actually. Very spicy. Yeah, it's nice, but I can't understand the taste because of spices. Well, yes, it's a differ different uh, taste for you. How about you? Did you enjoy the food and uh, what is your experience with the food? Mm, this is nice <laughs> because Naga food uh, can be not spicy. <laughs> not uh, like uh, uh, all Indian food. <laughs> Right, right. We are we we eat a little more spicy, but we enjoy that because of the climate. Now uh, you are from Russia. I believe in cold in winter. Russia is really really cold. Uh, how about the weather here? Is there any similarity uh, in the weather, in the temperature and all? Uh, no, it's not so much similarity because in Russia now we have minus 15, but here we can walk around like this. 
So it's safe to say that you are enjoying the weather here? Yes. Now, for the next 10 days, what are you planning to do? Actually, we are going tomorrow, <laughs> so we are not visiting Hornville, so so pity. Why, why don't you stay back and maybe experience one day? Because we, uh, we came for the conference and uh, we have our uh, a flight ticket back to Moscow. <laughs> Well, we wanted to participate. Actually, we wanted to see everything, but the time is like very limited. We have a lot of Russians, a lot of our friends here. Yeah, I will try to come back because we want to see Hornwell. We want to explore Nagaland more, not like in three days.